This is the moment the guys have been waiting for. These sharks have most likely never seen a human. But is it curiosity, or will their predatory instincts be triggered? These are large sharks. But to lure a monster from the deep, they'll have to up the ante. Riley, I'm gonna deploy your chumsicle, yeah? Coming behind you. A chumpsicle is lots of fish and blood and guts all frozen together, and it creates this perfect competitive feeding event. The chumpsicle rings the dinner bell. <laughs> Multiple new sharks appear. These are even larger, ranging from 12 to 14 feet in length. It's evidence that mature makos exist in these remote waters. There's not much time to take it in, as the sharks gain confidence. They view Riley as a threat to their food. makes the decision to pull him out. Yeah, buddy. Dude, they were all over you. That very much felt like a human test tube. It was a human test tube. Out of the start, they were just jacked and coming at me at all angles. Once they kind of familiarized themselves with me being in their you know, hierarchy, albeit behind a safety barrier, <laughs> they kind of chilled. But then when we put the food in, when they came up and connected with the meal, got some food and reward. They came straight at me every yeah. time. Pretty much telling you this is our kill, this is our food. I was jealous, man. It looked awesome. It was unreal. That's something I'll never forget. While Riley and Andy did not see a massive 20-footer, they have hope these sharks still exist. Seeing this many mature adult makos in one place is a good sign. If protected, they can grow to become the next generation of legendary Makos.